begin by constructing the arbor top, cutting the stretchers, ends, and copper pipe to length. Drill holes in the stretchers to receive the copper pipe. Assemble the top by adding a bit of construction adhesive to each hole and insert the pipes into one stretcher, then add the second stretcher. Complete the arbor top assembly by attaching the two ends to the stretchers using six inch long fasteners. The side assembly follows the same procedure as the top. Cut the parts to length, drill the holes, add the adhesive, and assemble the sides. To hold the side assembly together during the arbor installation, add two scraps to the side and secure with screws. Repeat these steps for the second side. Finish assembling the arbor by attaching the sides to the top assembly by driving screws through the top into the post. For the bench, begin with the top assembly as you did for the arbor. Attach the ends to the stretchers with six inch screws. Add a cleat to the inside face of the stretchers to support the seat slats. Cut the cleats to length and secure them three quarter inch below the top surface of the stretchers with screws. Now place the slats between the stretchers resting on the cleats. Space the slats evenly in the opening with about a half inch between them. Drive screws through the slats into the cleats. Cut the legs and copper pipe to length and assemble the sides. Drill holes, add adhesive, and install the copper pipes. Secure the leg assemblies to the bench by driving screws through the top assembly into the legs. Dig the holes for the arbor, set it in position, and fill the holes with concrete. When the concrete cures, you can remove the scraps you attach to the sides. Set the bench in position and enjoy your handiwork.